Today on the newscast, Rabbi Jason Sobel joins us to go inside the mysteries of the Messiah and how the Old and New Testaments fit together seamlessly with Jesus at the center. That's next. Folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We want to get right into our interview today with Rabbi Jason Sobel. He's the best-selling author of several books, including his latest, co-written with Kathy Lee Gifford, called The God of the Way. He's also host of the great new TBN show, Mysteries of the Messiah, which is based on his book by the same name. In it, Rabbi Jason takes us from Genesis through Revelation to show the many fascinating connections in Old and New Testament scripture and how it all points to Jesus. Here's a short clip from the show. The story of Joseph is an epic retelling of a true underdog story. He's a young man called to greatness, fighting against any and every force that tried to stop him from seeing that calling through. He's sold into slavery by his brothers, only later to rise to power and become a leader in Egypt. Though it doesn't end there, beyond all these extraordinary circumstances, there's another layer to this story that I wanna to uncover tonight. A careful look at God's hand in Joseph's life reveals a divine foreshadowing. You see, the story of Joseph does more than just show us the actions of a faithful follower of God. It's full of messages that predict the life of the Messiah himself. That's the journey we're taking right now on Mysteries of the Messiah. From Joseph to Jesus, incredible stuff. And the show is filmed on the ground in Israel, so even better. You can catch it every Wednesday night on TBN at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturdays on TBN at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can also watch clips from the show right here on YouTube. Just go to at Rabbi Jason Sobel on TBN. Here's my interview with Rabbi Jason on the mysteries of the Messiah. More and more Christians, more and more Gentile believers are discovering the Jewish roots of their faith. Jesus was a Jew from the land of Israel. Talk more about the importance of that, knowing, realizing the Jewish roots of Christianity and how your show is going to hit on that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you can't fully understand the depth of Jesus's, of Yeshua's his Hebrew name, of his teachings, of what he was doing in his ministry. So much of what he does is connected to the Hebrew scriptures, so much is connected to the Jewish holidays. And it's part of every believer's inheritance. Like, you know, for example, you know, people don't even ask the question, why did Jesus have to die on the tree? We get into that in the show. Well, how did sin enter the world? Man stole from the tree in the very beginning in the Garden of Eden. So God put Jesus back on a tree for you and me. His hands pierced because our hands stole from the tree. His sides pierced because the woman led him into temptation. His feet pierced because the seed of the woman, the first messianic prophecy, Genesis 3, was going to crush the head of the serpent. Crown of thorns on his head. Why? What's the curse of creation? The ground would produce thorns and thistles. He's literally taking the curse of creation on his head to reverse it and restore the blessing. And this all goes back to creation. So in Mysteries of the Messiah, we're walking from the creation story through the patriarchs, all the way through David, and showing how it all connects and points to Jesus. Yeah, and that's a key point, Rabbi. You will be in the land of Israel. You'll be on the ground for this series, giving people the <laughs> on-the-ground historical perspective. I think that really sets this program apart. Talk more about Jesus in the Old Testament. One of the themes of Mysteries of the Messiah, your new show here on TBN, is that, look, as you said earlier, People have kind of been reading the Bible in SD and not HD and not linking the Old and New Testaments together. It's what Jesus did on the road to Emmaus. You know, after his resurrection, two of his disciples were so discouraged thinking that, you know, they thought he was the Messiah and he wasn't. He appeared to them they'd in incognito. And then he began to open up the scriptures, beginning with uh, Moses and the prophets and showed how all these things pointed to him. And then ultimately they said, did our hearts not burn within us? And I think as we see how the old and the new connect, there's a sense of wonder for the word. There's a deeper love for Jesus. 
and everything that is written, every chapter points to Jesus, you know, in some way. From the very first letter of the Bible, from the very last letter of the Bible, it all uh, points to him. Yeah. Rabbi, we live in very tumultuous times, obviously, right now. Why is this a show for such a time as this? I think of obviously the rise in Christian persecution, a rise in anti-Semitism around the world. Yet this book, this show, I'm sorry, brings it all home, links the Old Testament, the New Testament, the story of the Jewish people, why it's so important for Gentiles and the church today. Do you feel that this program is a program for such a time as this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think on so many different levels. I mean, I think on on one level, we live in this world, like you're saying, where there's so much craziness. How do we understand all of this? And everything was, God spoke everything in the Hebrew scriptures, right? So we kind of get into that. And why is Iran rising today? Why is that prophetically important? How does that tie to the prophecies of the Old Testament and, and that connection and the modern state of Israel and why this is so significant. And I think part of it is that when you see God in the details, because it's incredible how God is in all these things and how they all come together, you know, that's the essence of hope. Hope is knowing God is in control and God is in the details. And when you see God how he's so precise in the details from the smallest little word uh, to the, the, every scripture, then it says, man, God is in the details of my life as well. And I think there's another point which is important too, because, you know, Messiah Jesus is not returning until Israel says, Baruch haba b'shem and I, blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I think if we're going to effectively impact the Jewish community, we have to be able to present and share Jesus in his original Hebrew Jewish context. And I believe that's what we're getting ready to see in the world today. Yeah, you know, the Bible, when you when you boil it down, Rabbi, seems to be the story of the Jewish people from creation through, through the apostles, through Acts. And Israel is at the center of all of this past, present, future. You hit on that on the show, the central importance of the nation of Israel today. Talk about why that's so important to you, to your faith, and why it was so important for you to get on the ground in Israel for this program. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you, when you think about it, I mean, from the very beginning of the creation story, right? I mean, that's where God chose to place his name. You know, that's where he is coming back to return uh, to place his feet again. I mean, even Daniel, he was in exile, prayed towards Jerusalem towards the house of God. And so that's where Messiah was born. That's where he lived. That's where he ministered. That's where he's returning to. And we talk about uh, in the book, right? Jesus celebrated. We talk about it in one of the shows, John chapter seven, he goes up to celebrate the feast of tabernacles. And it's where he offers living water. And what's interesting is that in the kingdom, Zechariah 14 tells us all the nations of the world are going to go up year after year to celebrate this biblical holiday of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. So this Israel and what we talk about in the book is a sneak preview of the coming attraction, and it's a taste of what is to come, and it's important for us to understand our history and our heritage. Great insights there from Rabbi Jason Sobel. Again, you can watch Mysteries of the Messiah every Wednesday night on TBN at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturdays at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can also watch clips from the show right here on YouTube at Rabbi Jason Sobel on TBN. One more quick programming note before we go. Don't miss our Watchman Newscast live stream from Jerusalem with David Rubin this Wednesday, December 7th, between 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. David and I will break down Israel's new government and what it means, plus his incredible work on behalf of victims of terrorism in Israel's biblical heartland and much more. Folks, you won't want to miss this. Be sure to join us live and bring your questions for both David Rubin and me on December 7th. Hey, until tomorrow, thanks so much for joining us here in the Watchman Newscast. God bless you, and remember, never hold your peace.
Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.